Hum, a Paul McCartney and John Lennon fanfiction by UDQUU3QIS. What a fucking spasticated name. Paul McCartney loved cum. There was no politer way to say it, but he did. He realised his love for it when he had first given into the raw need of masturbation and had harboured a secret passion for it, which confused him mildly at first, seeing as he had viewed himself to be straight. He could never forget the feel of his own semen as it spurted over his fingers for the first time and coated his cock with a slick warmness that kept him hard for another wank directly afterwards. Ever since he abused himself during a sleepless night eight years ago, Paul had been on a one-man quest to find the perfect cum. He was now 21 and still nowhere near to finding it, or so he thought. Every time he had come close to a man as he orgasmed, he found that the end result always tended to be too runny, almost like milk or too thick, like large globs of shaving cream which never vacated the penis in an arousing way. No, the perfect cum had to be something in between these two extremes, a perfect consistency that jetted out of its bearer's cock with speed and landed on its destination in the desired fashion. Paul gasped as he watched the warm spurts of John Lennon's cum coat his stomach, leaving long white trails down his torso and around his pubic hair. Paul had found his perfect cum, his quest had ended. He made no sound as he fully opened the door and walked steadily towards the sedated beetle who had done nothing to stop his bandmate as he mounted the bed he had masturbated on. Paul then pushed himself between John's legs and without so much as a greeting dipped his head and stuck out his tongue which collected his most treasured prize. After that night where John managed to have two more orgasms and Paul had two more cum feasts, Paul's devouring of John's perfect cum became a regular occurrence. John would always start by jerking off, although most of the time Paul would finish him off with his mouth and collected his reward immediately. There was one night though about three months after the initial agreement for what they were doing where Paul confessed to something that even scared himself just a little bit. I want it inside of me. <laughs> John could do nothing but lie back and enjoy Paul's movements. He rode him expertly and with piercing brown eyes locked with his. He knew the reason for Paul's stare. It was something he always did at these times. He was waiting for John's certain look. That one facial expression that told Paul he would be coming at any second. John blinked at his friend a few times stupidly and almost questioned Paul's motives before he realised what Paul was willing to do. He bit his lip and nodded as he saw Paul smile and mount him quickly. He looked down at his cock and took a deep breath. It was going to be going somewhere sacred. Paul prepared John in the way that aroused him the most, with his own cum, what else? And gently pushed himself upon John's pulsating cock. The younger beetle groaned as he was stretched and kept his thoughts on the end goal and the sweetest of treats. Oh God, he said, as he could visualize and almost taste it the goodness that he would unleash as soon as he moved. John looked on with mild confusion as Paul hovered above him for a few seconds, only to understand what he was doing when he heard the bassist groan appreciatively and felt something wet drip onto his abdomen. Mmm, Paul hummed and shuffled down between John's legs once the latter's spunk stopped dripping from his arse. In about five long licks, he had John cleaned up and he smiled at him thankfully. You're a dirty cum whore, you know that, John said, and scared Paul momentarily as he sat up and pulled Paul fully into his lap. But I love you for it, he added, and kissed his friend. He kept a firm hold on the back of Paul's head and moaned as he tasted himself on his eager tongue. He could almost taste the appeal of Paul's obsession. It annoyed John that they were so close, and yet Paul treated the event almost like a business transaction. He was riding John's cock for one purpose only, and it made John almost not want to come. He contemplated trying to hold back for a moment, but soon realised that it would be impossible. He'd come soon, and Paul would get what he wanted. If only he could get what he wanted too. The look was present on John's face, and Paul beamed as he impaled himself harder on his friend's cock. He 
he made moans of triumph as John let go and filled him with his delicious seed. Although he hadn't planned on John pulling him forwards and against him, causing their bodies to smack against one another thanks to their collective sweat. Paul was lost for a moment as he noticed something shine in John's eyes, but then he remembered what he was doing and lifted himself off his friend.